Amazon has finally gotten into the AI race and they're looking to compete with the likes of Microsoft and Google and every other big major AI company out there. So what have they been working on? Well, they call this Amazon Bedrock. And a quick short overview of what this is, is essentially it makes it so much easier to create AI applications utilizing what they call foundation models, AKA FMs. And now from the traditional overview, typically they'll go ahead and create their own data and then they'll go ahead and do everything they can with their companies. However, with Amazon, what they're doing is letting you choose from already AI created startups that have been doing this for multiple years with all the data they have and they let you pick and choose whichever model you need to use for your application so that you can go ahead and get started by developing it and choosing it right away. So for example, there's a company such as AI21 Labs, they also have Anthropic, and they also have Stability AI. So let me just show you really quick these different startups. So here, this is AI21 Labs, and this is showcasing a charts in terms of their, what they call this faithfulness rates. And this measures how factually consistent a summary is with the original text. And basing this off of something that many of us follow in the space, ChatGPT, aka OpenAI, you can see that AI21 summarizes it's actually significantly higher than OpenAI, but this is also based off of the DaVinci 003 model, which is currently up by 19%. Now, obviously there's ChatGPT4 and there's different models in the future that they're gonna be creating. However, this is just to showcase you one of the foundation models that Amazon has been implementing with. Another one is called Claude, and this is off of Anthropic's websites. And if you've seen previews of this, it's essentially a ChatGPT Google Bar style, similar to those, except it's obviously their own company right here. And they have more details you can definitely check out on that one. And then the other company is Stability AI. And if you followed AI space, you probably have heard of some of these such as Stable Diffusion, and then also Dream Studio. And this is more for image generation. And now let's go back to the Amazon Bedrock to see what is really the hype around this. So here, let's take a look at the quick summary on how it works. Basically, like I mentioned earlier, it provides you the ability to choose from different foundational models. And these again are leading AI startups. So these aren't just some random companies Amazon partnered with. These are leading in the AI space and you can find the model that is best suited for whatever you're trying to do. So if you wanna do something regarding chatbots, there you go. And here's actually a better visual for, for people, people who don't code or have any background knowledge in the tech space. This will give you a very good overview of what exactly is happening. So first off, text generation. Think of this as like ChatGPT, you type in the prompt and you say, hey, create me an essay give me, I don't know, 10 things to do for the day, summarize this article, you name it, anything regarding text, AI, that is another feature that you could utilize with the new Amazon Bedrock. Also chatbots. So if you've ever, for example, message something or someone on a website and then it has an auto reply or even you're talking to somebody, that's an example of a chatbots. Also, this could work for customer supports. If you have a company where people send an email to something, you have a chatbot replying to the person, there's millions of ways you can go and use that. Also, there's search in terms of data. So I could already see that being useful in terms of finding information similar to like a Google or even a Bing. And we have here text summarization, which I was mentioning earlier. Similar to currently ChatGPT4, we can post a link. Also, you can obviously copy paragraphs from websites, etc. And that is very similar to some of the uses of the other AI products such as ChatGPT, Google Bard, etc. Image generation, that is gonna be big as well. Mid journey, stale diffusion, you name it. That's gonna be crazy to see, as well as image classification. So that one's interesting too, which I haven't really seen too many AIs focus specifically on that, but I'm sure for 
enterprise applications, big major companies, this could be very useful for whatever they're trying to do. Now here is the foundation models FMs that they are showcasing. So Jurassic 2, which is their multilingual LLM, and this is actually pretty impressive, is that it can be translated into multiple languages, which they currently have Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, and Dutch. Now for most people that might not seem crazy, but just imagine everything that you type out could be translated into one of these languages automatically. You don't even have to know that. So for people who are polygots or even multilingual, that's crazy already. And that could be fairly easy to do with this new AI uh, learning model here. Also Cloud, which I showed earlier as well. You can look up uh, previews of if you want to see the visuals, but basically just think of it as like a ChatGPT or Google Bard type uh, design. Stable Diffusion, it's very similar to Mid-Journey image generation in case you don't know what that is. And then also they have Amazon Titan, so text summarization, generation, etc., which we can deep dive more into that in a second. So here's a image showcasing on the Amazon block site, Generative AI, and this connects Amazon Bedrocked, and they also have Amazon EC2, and Amazon EC2 INF2, as well as Amazon Code Whisperer, which I'll show you a uh, preview of what Code Whisperer is for people who actually understand coding. This is actually quite impressive, but just imagine you can write out a little sentence and it rewrites or it essentially auto-completes a function for you. That is actually amazing to see. But let's go look into what is this generative AI? What does that even mean? So in short, generative, if you know that word, is basically you can create new content ideas Anything you can think of, images, stories, videos, music, whatever is possible to imagine, think of that in AI. And basically this is all powered by ML, machine learning. And obviously if you don't have coding background, you want not really know some of these uh, terms. However, just note that this is a big deal because soon it's going to make it access for developers or even mega large companies big enterprise companies to create their AI applications they've all been dreaming about or even improve upon so much easier with this new Amazon Bedrock, which they currently have been released out. So here, even Amazon states that this is the easiest, Bedrock is the easiest way for customers to build and scale generative AI based applications using the FMs. And think of this, if you just have basic knowledge of coding or even your expert level, think of how much easier life's going to be now where you can go ahead and create these AI applications that only so far a certain amount of people can do. However, with this, the speed is going to increase much faster. Next thing you know it, all the other companies out there are going to have to innovate because if not, all the developers, all the technical people who are building AI applications using Amazon Bedrock are going to be doing it much faster and easier and hence, there's going to be a lot more competition. So just to give a sort of a visual what this really is doing. So for people who don't understand the tech background, basically think of something as simple as a website, right? Years ago, only way you could create a website was someone who knew how to code. It's super complicated back in the day. Obviously, it takes a lot longer to do, and there's not that many shortcuts you could do back then. Now, today, there's companies such as WordPress. You have these drag and drop click building website softwares that literally you don't have to know anything about website building program or anything. All you need to do is click and drag and you can make your own website. Well, this is going to be, I predict at least, again, this is my own opinion, in the next few months, few years, it's going to be the point where just a normal person is going to be able to create something AI. However, this still right now, this is more technical in terms of the Amazon aspect, but I feel like that is where we're going towards in terms of the trend. And who knows, 10 years from now, random kids growing up are gonna be building AI applications from a drag and drop software. That could easily be a reality. But for now, let's look back onto what Amazon is working on. So here is an actual example from their site showcasing a potential use case for Bedrock. So here they state this, pretend you're a content marketing manager and you work at a leasing fashion retailer and what you need to do is develop a fresh targeted ad and campaign copy which in word that means uh writing for an upcoming new line of handbags so if you were to do this manually obviously you would have to go ahead and contact certain people take a lot of time thought 
process and for here all you need to do is provide bedrock a few labeled examples of the best performing taglines from past campaigns which aka that would be your data so whatever app you're creating you'd have to you know obviously feed it some sort of information and then along with the descriptions of the products and guess what bedrock will automatically start generating effective social media display ad and web copy for the new handbags and what they state is none of the customer's data is used to train the underlying models since all the data is encrypted and does not leave customers virtual or private cloud where they put the pc customers can trust that their data will remain private and confidential so that is already one use case that a company could utilize the new bedrock ai for them so now you just have to convert that into whatever you want to work on and then put that into your business and then next thing you know it you have AI implemented just like that. So this is very exciting for the AI future. So if you know any apps currently being worked on utilizing Amazon Bedrock, feel free to share that down below. And if you wanna see the latest, greatest updates from AI space, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.